So here it is. We got Paul Hamels and Jake Diekman reportedly going to the Texas Rangers. This season, Hamels 6 and 7 with a 3.64 ERA. But of course, coming off the no hitter in his last outing against the Chicago Cubs, one of the real highlights, not only of this season, but also of the last couple of years. And Jake Diekman, who was so good last year, 100 strikeouts, struggled early on this season, was kind of finding it. His numbers in 41 games, 2-1, and one, with a 5.15 earned run average. Now, what the Phillies reportedly will get back are a whole host of prospects from the Texas Rangers. Now, the guy that's at the front of the line is Jake Thompson. He's the highest-rated prospect, the 21-year-old, who is currently in double-A, but Jorge Alfaro, who is a catcher the Phillies need for depth in their organization. And Nick Williams at double-A, just 21 years old, 13 home runs, Everybody feels he is a bona fide hitter. Hi, everybody. I'm Tom McCarthy, joined by Matt Stairs and Ben Davis. All right, this is all part of the business of baseball. The Phillies have said for the last several months, even over the last year or so, that they are rebuilding, that they're turning the page. And they're turning the page on one of the, the real folk heroes for this organization, the 2008 World Series MVP. Well, they're turning the page, and unfortunately, it's that time of year where you have to make these decisions. You know, they got six very good players coming. But, you know, one thing about Cole Hamels, when I came over here in 2008, he was a guy, when I walked in the locker room, he came over and introduced himself like I didn't know who he was already. <laughs> but he just made yourself feel at home right away. And, you know, throughout the year in 08 and 09, he's a workhorse. And that's what you need out of your number one guy. He's a guy that goes out there and he throws every fifth day. You can see over the two years in 08 and 09, 65 starts, 421 innings. That doesn't include the nine postseason starts. So what you need out of a number one guy is a guy that goes out every day, gets you 33, 32 starts every year. Mm -hmm. He's a guy who wants the ball every day, but really a guy who goes out and competes every day. You know, a lot of times I went down, stand in the bullpen, he'd ask me what I thought a lefty's strength is, you know, for facing a left-handed hitter. So he was picking my brain, I was picking his brain. He probably didn't know that. But he's definitely going to be missed. He's definitely a guy that you need at the top of the order. Well, it's the and it's amazing when he was drafted by the Phillies uh, way back when with the 17th pick overall, you could just sense that there was something special about him. Now, you got a chance to watch him uh, for these last several years from a little bit of a distance, and now up close, I mean, this is a pretty special pitcher. He is special, but I'd like to talk about the evolution of Cole Hamels. When he came up, he was pretty much fastball changeup. We know about how good that changeup was. It's a devastating pitch. It was his out pitch throughout his tenure here in Philadelphia. But the evolution of Cole, seemingly, his fastball, he had more life on it. We saw in the no-hitter on Saturday. 96 miles an hour in the ninth inning, so he got a little bit more life on that fastball. The breaking ball was a pitch that really has come a long way for him. Even the cutters of pitches he developed over the years. So no matter how good he was or the Phillies thought he was early in his career, he still saw room for improvement, and he got better. And not to mention the things that he did off the field. He was a model citizen. He did a lot for the community here in Philadelphia and neighboring areas, and he will be missed. Yeah, he and his wife Heidi both will be missed with the Hamels Foundation. I'm sure they'll still have their footprint, though, here in the city of Philadelphia.